Good morning, North America, and all the fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a UK holiday, super quiet uh, as to be expected uh, during the European session. Things might pick up here uh, as New York comes in. The focus is still on crude. 70.40 at the moment. Uh, high has been 70.70. So we're just hanging around, and then we're looking at the currencies that are affected by crude oil prices. So we've got dollar CAD here, which has been just sort of marginally bid, I think, not doing too much. We saw a pretty good tail on the candle on uh, Friday, and now confirmation is prices below 128.40 for a move down to possibly 128.05. 128.05 is what we would call a CTA momentum style break trade so we're keeping an eye on that as a possible entry of note also dollar swiss printed a 42 high which pretty much is the same high as these other highs here 39 37 um yeah we're at the hourly close here we'll see what we get on this hourly close ideally if this is going to be a turn we close at 34 very quiet so uh, let's not get too carried away but if we get this double top uh, that'll be nice for later in the week as a possible uh, momentum extension point or if you're a bear uh, a place to be short equities done nothing uh, 2671 really not much going on there um, yield 296 Take a look at the dollar max real quick. We had kind of a bearish bar here um, where we printed a high of 29.83, which was just below the 29.96 high. And had a pretty serious down move down to 21 three quarters, but no real follow through. We're just kind of hanging around here. Dollar max. As we talked about at the European Open, is a tug of war between political problems and the new nationalist leader of Mexico uh, and the price of oil, which should be putting some downward pressure on dollar max. So pick your poison there. I don't pretend to understand dollar max. I don't have soup tons of experience trading it. So just pointing it out. Um, Potential short 1922 now if we get back down there. Finally, uh, let's take a look at dollar yen. I just want to show you the weekly uh, last week. Perfect doji after sort of a six, seven, six percent move higher, uh, five percent move higher, five and a half percent move higher. Uh, this becomes very interesting uh, both sides now. 108. Uh, 63 we'll call it and on the top side 11007 so we really want to keep an eye on this the two edges of last week for an extended move in the next direction so food for thought uh, on the weekly bar which as we know are harder to trade um, ideally the weekly bars break on a Friday so you can treat them more like a daily bar but we're just keeping an eye on this for the rest of the week that's about it for now uh, we're just waiting for New York to get in 6 a.m. now in New York uh, so uh, another hour or two before things get moving on the first on Monday and that's it for now. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow at the European Open. Good luck out there. Ciao.